Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos están escuchando. And happy Sunday morning to everyone. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Amen. Yes. So we just want to let you know that he's ready. So you get ready to receive what God yes. has for you. Amen. Yes. Today we're going to be talking about believers. That's us. Yes. Should be the happiest people oh, in yes. this world. Amen. Yes. But uh, sometimes uh, we don't show that. Huh. <laughs> sometimes huh. we're the saddest. Sometimes we're the bored. The bored. How do you say bored? Boris? Boris. Boris. <laughs> Sad is lonely because boring. Boring. There you go. <laughs> boring. We need to wake up, amen. And we amen. need to know that we should be the happiest people, amen. Yes, so right. get yourself ready to receive all those of you that are joining us by audio video. We just want to welcome you, amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que se nos están escuchando por audio video. Yeah. Bienvenidos a todos. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. This should be on a daily basis, Amen. all the time. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. So praise God. And uh, before you do that, you get yourselves ready. Church, grab your Bibles, grab your swords, say it like you mean it. Amen. This is my Bible. my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when you speak the word, you got to be bold about it. Amen. So you got to let that boldness come out of you. Amen. Uh, I've seen this on uh, Facebook where the little uh, kitten is going into a uh, and that's us going to meet with God. Yeah. And when you come back, you come back as a lion. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's oh, you. Lord. Going out there to happen for, 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 for God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Get yourselves ready. Excited. Yeah. Uh, the Bible says to stir yourself up. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes you, you don't have to wait for somebody to do it for you. You just got to stir yourself up. Amen. Amen. Everything's in there. Amen. So praise yes. God. It'll all come out. Yes. But you got to stir yourself up yes. all the time. Right. Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. What I do? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. We shall yes. rejoice and be glad. And go ahead and got another one. This is the New King James. Yes. The next one says, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be full of joy yes. and be glad in it. Uh -huh. Every day he gives us a new day to serve him. Yes. But we need to be joyful. We need to be happy, excited. Yes. We're the happiest people on earth. Yeah. You know, people uh -huh. see you and they know, hey, that's a child of God. Uh -huh. You know, and they are always happy. Yes. You know, so praise God. They should come to us yeah. to get a charge, yeah. <laughs> a spiritual charge, you know, uh -huh. instead of us having to go to them or ha us having to go find some substitute uh -huh. to get us high. Yeah. We can get high on the most high. Yeah. Lord Jesus, amen. So praise God. Uh -huh. Amen. Let me see. Okay. I got these two backwards. No wonder. That won't work. One and two. Well, you didn't have to know that, but I'm going to let you know. <laughs> Believers should be the happiest people on earth. Amen. Believers should be the most joyful people on earth. Uh -huh. God created men and women to be happy, and yet the majority are not experiencing it. That's right. Amen. You know, and we get around sad people. We go around the people that got more problems than you, and you're gonna uh, get let these people try to get you all excited. Uh, we should be the most happiest people. Yeah. You know, when we stir ourselves up in Him, Hallelujah! It's just gonna come out, come out from us. Many people mistake this happiness by basing it on outward circumstances. You know, hey, if I had a better job, you know, oh, you want to compare with somebody else. And, you know, if I had the job they had, no. I'd be the happiest person, you know. No. If no. I if I had a better career, you know, hey, I, I could I could be real happy. But maybe he you know, <laughs> if I had his wife, if I had her husband, if I had a friend like they have, you know, hey, I'd be real happy. If I had that relationship they have, if I, if I had better health, you know, I'm always walking around sick. Or I'm always walking around feeling sad or, or sorry for myself, you know. Mm -hmm. If I had a better house, a better ha car, all this if, if, ifs, you know. Uh -huh. We just got to know that we're the child of God and we can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. us. And we should be 
the ha happiest people on earth. Uh -huh. When we first born again as believers, guess what? We're so excited, we can't wait to go share with somebody else, you know? But then, all of a sudden, time goes by, guess what? Priorities change, things change, and the happiness and the joy goes out. Yes. And the world comes in. Remember, we're, yes. tri we're tri-being. We have a spirit, we have a soul, yes. a mind, a will, and emotions, and we live in this body. Mm -hmm. Amen, this is the body, the temple, yeah. amen? So praise God. <laughs> and it just goes out, it slips out, it leaves, uh -huh. and we open the door to the world. We open the door to distractions. We open the door to all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we need to remember, as a tri-being, our mind, our will, our emotions, uh, the, 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 the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. So we need to renew that on a daily basis yeah. because your mind is going to be tested all the time. Yeah. There's a lot of negative, negative stuff out yeah. there. And you know, if you don't renew your mind with the right things, mm -hmm. you know, we gotta get all the negative out so we can put the positive things Amen. in. Amen. So believers are two um are too full uh let me see how I want to say this. Um there's too much burdens, there's too much cares. Mm -hmm. And we're holding on to them instead of giving yeah. them to God like he tells us to. Amen. Right. Yeah. Also, there's so many struggles out there in life, and we're trying to go through this without him. We got to remember we're a child of God and we're happy. And we have Jesus on our side. Amen. We're on God's team. So praise God. Believers living a defeated life. Mm. Amen. The greater one is in you. Yes. The word is in you. But you're not letting it out. And you're living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. You know what's worse than a, a sinful life? Yeah. A Christian that's got the answer on the inside. has got the word on the inside. But they're not yeah. releasing it. Yeah. And they live in. They show it. Uh, they're sad, they're bored, they're lonely, mm -hmm. and they're not happy. Mm -hmm. Amen? They're not happy. Yes. So we got a way, listen to this. On our, we're on our way to heaven. We're supposed to be happy and uh -huh. joyful. Instead, we're sad, bored, lonely, and whatever else you want to throw in there. Mm -hmm. Instead of being happy mm -hmm. and joyful. Mm -hmm. Amen? When people see these things, it attracts them. Yeah. I want what they've got. What is it they've got? They've got the greater one in them. They got Jesus. They got happiness. Amen. I want this too. Nehemiah. Yeah. Go ahead, go to the next one. Uh -huh. There we go. Nehemiah, this is our text yes. right here. Nehemiah 810. Of course, uh -huh. we read all this, but we use the bottom portion mostly. It mm -hmm. says, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and uh send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. Yeah. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. We use this all the time. Let yeah. the joy of the Lord be your strength. Uh -huh. Amen. And when people see this, you know, they want to know I yeah. want what you've got. What yeah. is it that you've got? Well, I've got the greater one. Yeah. I've got the joy of the Lord in, yeah. in me. Amen. So <laughs> don't allow no, we're going to go through quite a few of these. Go ahead. Go to the next. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Leave right there. Oh. Don't allow the enemy or the devil or anyone steal your joy. Mm -hmm. It's there and it's yours. But then again, these distractions, the enemy is going to see, put these distractions in front of you to try to steal your joy. Oh, yeah. Amen. We're not to <laughs> give it up. That's you know, right. nobody wants your, your your pain. Nobody wants your sorrow. Nobody, nobody wants your boredness, anything like that. Right. But guess what? They want to steal your joy. Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. won't steal your other stuff, hurt. but they want to they wanna steal your uh, joy. So don't allow the enemy or anyone he uses to try to steal your joy. John 10.10 10 says this. The devil, yeah. the enemy, comes to steal, kill, and destroy what? Your joyfulness, yeah. your happiness, yeah. all these things he's going to try to do. Yeah. Amen? But Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Have it more joyfully. Mm -hmm. Have it more happily. Yeah. <laughs> Amen? So, hey, put on Christ. You know, yeah. as you put on Christ before you go out into the world. Yes. Amen? That you step out in, in, uh, 
and, and, and being happy. You know, the world wakes up every Friday when they wake up and they say, oh, thanks God, it's Friday, you know? But they wake up on Monday and say, oh man, Monday. Oh, we got all this week to go till Friday and then we come alive, amen? Well, guess what? You'll be happy on Mondays too. You'll be happy on Tuesdays. You'll be happy all week long. You say, oh man, it's hump day. It's fist day. Every day is the Lord's day. He says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. You says, it says, we will. Uh -huh. One translation says, we will be. Yes. But you make it yours and say, I will. Or you can put your name on there and just put Jose. Will. Hey, be glad and be, be glad in it and be joyful in it. Amen? Amen. So praise God. You don't have to be like the world. Amen. That's it. You let the world be like you. Amen. Yes. And, and, and live. Live, live that way, amen. So, child of God, start enjoying your life. Amen. Be happy, be joyful. Don't just endure your days, oh. enjoy your days. Amen. Be happy, be joyful, right. amen. Why are you so happy? People yeah. get mad uh -huh. because they're jealous. They don't want you to be happy, mm -hmm. amen. They want you to be in misery like that, <laughs> you know. And uh, you don't have to, you know. Uh, don't go share. We ain't got no 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 bad news to share. Yes, they is. share all their bad news, and you go join them. No, mm -hmm. you share your good news, amen? amen. And you bring your joyful over there, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty soon, you know, they'll just disappear. Mm -hmm. They'll leave you, <laughs> amen. Ooh, hallelujah! Come on, yeah. I put your amen yeah. in me now. Yeah. Let me read you uh, my uh, scripture break for today. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is it is it is good, amen. And listen to this. It's got to go with, it goes with the lesson. But it says this, joy. Don't let the enemy or don't let anyone steal your joy today. Mm -hmm. We all face difficult times in life. Yeah. We must do our best to maintain our joy. Yes. Our joy is the source of our strength. Mm -hmm. We have to get us through these mm -hmm. difficult times. Uh -huh. We're not joyful because of the situation. We're joy, we have joy because we know that we have an assurance of God's word will yes. benefit us in the end. Don't allow anybody or negative experiences yes. to steal your joy. That's right. You don't have to allow this to happen. Amen. amen. So you keep your joy. Amen. Praise God. And you know, you go share it. Just like we praise share the God. word of God. Amen. So praise yes. God. Here we go. Oh. We're going to be sharing some uh, more scripture. Uh, Psalms 34 and 8 that says, yes. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, yes. blessed, happy, fortunate. To be envied uh -huh. is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. These are, these, are, these are some good scriptures. Write them down. Yes. You can go study them for yourself. Amen. Find different translations that yes. you can read them in different translations. This one, the New Living Translation says, Taste and see that God, that the Lord is good. Uh -huh. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Amen. What do you want to take refuge in? Mm -hmm. This world no. is going to pass. That's right. Amen. Whatever you want to take refuge in, if it's not God, uh -huh. you got problems. Amen. Yes. Go, go to the next one. Here's another one. Uh, this is Proverbs 17, 22. New King James. A merry heart does good like medicine, medicine. but a broken spirit drives the bones. Amen. Amen. This yes. translation says, a cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine, uh -huh. but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Mm -hmm. Too many believers walk around mm -hmm. sad, defeated, and unhappy. Uh -huh. We're talking about believers. We're not talking about the world. Right. We already know about them. Uh -huh. But as believers, we shouldn't go around Sad, defeated, and unhappy. That's right. We should be the happiest people in, 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 in this world. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise One more. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Don't let the devil oh. steal your joy. Oh. Amen. Don't let the yeah. devil. And you know what? The devil, he uses people. He uses yeah. family. He uses friends. Uh -huh. So look out for those friends. If they want to steal your joy and say, hey, I want to share my misery with you. I want to share my bad news with you. And they want to pull you down. Mm -hmm. Don't allow yourself to say, hey, yeah. I know better than them. Yes. Let me share with you my good news. Amen. Let me share with you my happiness. Yes. Amen. My joyfulness. Yes. Keep going. Praise God. Don't let Praise anything God. or anyone steal your joy. Amen. Anyone. Because the enemy uses people. God uses people. Uses believers. Uh -huh. The enemy will use people, unbelievers, mm -hmm. to do the same thing. 
keep going. Separate yourself from blessing bus, uh, blockers. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Separate yourself from blessing blockers. Uh -huh. Sometimes, sometimes these these are our family. Sometimes these are friends, oh, like so-called friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> but separate yourself from blessing blockers. Uh -huh. They purposely distract you with sin, drama, and fear because they can't stand to see you happy. Oh, man. <laughs> they don't want to see you happy. Uh -huh. They don't want to see you happy. Yes. They want to see you sad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to be just like me. Mm. Be mm -hmm. sad. Mm. Be down. Be lonely. Mm -hmm. You know? Ooh. No. Uh, no way, and say no way, Jose. Uh -uh. <laughs> keep, keep going. Oh God! <laughs> Here you go. The best way to be happy is to turn the negatives into positives. Uh -huh. Don't let anyone steal your joy, and be thankful for what you have. Yes. Amen. I mean, yes. you can grab these right now. You need to write these down, but don't allow yourself. Don't be negative. Mm -hmm. Don't be sad. You know, That's right? Hallelujah. Be positive, yes. and don't let no one. The enemy or no one steal your joy, Amen. steal your happiness. Hallelujah! It's in me every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed. I encourage you to declare out loud, "I am going to be happy. I am going to enjoy this day." Why? Because the Lord says, "This is the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Be joyful and be glad in it." Amen. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, hey, it's raining outside, and it's just bad. It's cold outside. Uh, don't let circumstances, don't let the day dictate the way your day is going to go or right. a person or anything dictate right. how your day is going to go. That's it. As a matter of fact, we have a, I need a, my uh, <laughs> glasses to read the one that's up there. It says, each day is a gift received, uh -huh. receive it with gratitude. Yes. Each day is a gift. Yes. Amen. You woke up, receive it with gratitude. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given us. Yes. Amen. I'm going to be glad in it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Make somebody, make, make uh, the devil mad and somebody glad. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You'll be glad about it. Thank you, Lord. So this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Decide to be happy, joyful, and smile right where you are. Amen. So bloom wherever God has you. Yeah. You know, we don't have to envy who's doing what or who's to where or what, you know. Just be glad where God has you. Yeah. And Lord, I'm going to do my best wherever you yes. have me. Thank you know, you. hey, you talk about the physical body. Uh -huh. There's lots of parts in this body. Mm. Whatever parts you are, do your best, big yes. or small, and you'll be happy. Amen. Amen. So, bloom where God plants you. Yes. Wherever he has you is the right place. We're on a mission, and we're on our way to heaven. Hopefully, singing and being joyful and being happy That's instead true, of yeah. being sad. Nobody want to hang around with you if you're sad. That's, That's just like the rest of the world. Oh. People want to see their happiness in you, yeah. and they want to. Hey, I want, I, I want what you got. Not too many people follow you when you're all sad and doom and gloom, you know, and say, well, I don't want to be hanging out with them. Mm. Be a firm decision to be happy, and make a firm decision to be happy and enjoy your mission, your journey. When you do, you'll begin to experience an abundant, happy, joyful life filled with happiness. Amen. So Jesus died that he sees he says, John 10, 10, that we might have life and life more abundantly, more happily, more joyfully. Amen. And hallelujah. He just provided for us. And, and Lord, I, I, I receive that with gratitude. Thank you. Praise God. Psalms 100, verse one, uh, verse 1 says this, Make a joyful noise unto yes. the Lord, all, all ye people, yes. all ye lands. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord daily, yes. every day. Thank you, Lord, for this yes. day. Oh, I receive it with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You know, some of us just thank you for certain days of the week. <laughs> we thank you for every day of the week. Amen. Because it's, it's sign says it's a gift from God. Yes. You know, it's a gift. So, thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes, and you know, you every day is a mission day. <laughs> yes. You're on this mission, and you're to fulfill and accomplish what you're supposed to do on a daily yes. basis. Amen. You know, and I'm going to be happy going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yes. That's Praise what he God. wants us to do. He don't want us to be sad. Uh-huh. He wants to be happy. Amen. Philippians 4, 4 says, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. rejoice. Yes. <laughs> Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Yeah. I don't care what you get high on, you know, you're going to come down. Yeah. But when you get high on the most high, you're going to rejoice and yeah. you're going to stay high. Amen. 
Praise God. First Thessalonians 5, 16 says, uh, be full of joy all the time. And New King James says, uh, rejoice always. <laughs> rejoice always. Well, I can't do that, you know. Well, you're not ruled by the flesh. Don't, don't allow yourself to be ruled by the flesh. Your spirit, you feed the word of God. Uh -huh. You feed on the word of God. And your mind, you renew it with the word of God. And so when your flesh wants to have a fit, it can't because the spirit says, let's go. We're going to rejoice always in God. Amen. We're going to rejoice always. John 3.16. Oh, here's another one to be happy about. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting, joyful, happy life. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. Whew, man, this is good. I'm, I'm preaching myself happy. Uh -huh. I don't know about you. Again, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice, be happy, yes. and enjoy it. Amen. Many people, including believers, spend most of their lives defeated, mm. beaten, overpowered, yeah. <laughs> overcome, oh. overwhelmed, and crushed. Oh. Now, we don't want to, mm -hmm. as a believer, we don't want this. No. <laughs> Uptight, tense, and anxious, upset, sad, troubled, overstressed, burdened. Overloaded, over, overstretched, and overstrained, mm. or discouraged, cast down, depressed, dejected, oh disheartened, and hopeless. Mm. This is not for the happiest people on earth. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no. This is not for the happiest people mm. on earth, and nobody want to hang around you mm. feeling this way. This is not for a child of God. This mm. is not for you. Amen. Many, many believers live this way, and we, and we shouldn't have to. We're to cast it on Him. Amen. Amen. Receive Him on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you for this gift that you have, this uh, new day that you have given yes. me, Lord. I receive it, and I'm grateful for it. And now, strengthen yourself. Yes. Get in Him so Amen. you can go out and bless somebody. Amen. Yes. And Amen. Hallelujah. And First Peter five seven. This is one of the scriptures we're talking about. It says, "Give all your worries to Him. Mm -hmm. Cast all your anxieties on Him. Why? Because He cares about you." Yes. Amen. If he sacrificed his son, he says, I'm going to set you on a mission. Now I want you to cast all those extra weights, all those extra burdens on me yeah. because I care for you. Yeah. Amen. You just go, be happy, and be joyful, and let people see that I am with you. Amen. You're on the winning team. Yes. Amen. You, that they can have the same thing that you've got. Amen. Uh, Psalm 55, uh, 22 says this. In the uh, expanded Bible, it says, Give, cast, throw, your uh, worries or your burdens, that which he has given you, uh -huh. says to the Lord, and he will take care of and sustain you. He will never let good or the righteous people uh, down or be moved. Amen. Amen. I won't be moved. Amen. Because I'm standing on the word. I'm, I'm standing on solid ground. Amen. And I, my roots go deep down, and I'm going to be happy about this. Amen. Amen. Go to the next one. Hallelujah. Praise God. Says, be happy. It drives people crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they want to know, what are you drinking? Or oh. what are you high on? <laughs> you want know, to know something's wrong. And all you have to do is just let them know. Say, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Uh -huh. Jesus loves me. Uh -huh. Amen. And I'm just high on the most high. <laughs> But it makes it drives people crazy when they yeah. see you happy. You shouldn't be happy. No. You, have you heard the news? Have you heard the latest? Oh, you know, hey, always negative news, bad news. You know, that's yes. only for us. This world is full of bad news. Bad news. But we're the good news. Yes. Going Amen. somewhere to happen for somebody. Praise Amen. God. Thank Praise God. Lord. <laughs> says, let your smile change the world, not the world change your smile. Oh. If you listen to the negative stuff and the bad news, it's going to change your smile. Yeah. Your, your, your smile is going to drop and you're going to have a frown. Yeah. Amen? We, 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 we need to let your smile change the world. Mm -hmm. When they see your smile, it attracts people. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Immediately it makes them wonder, mm -hmm. why are you smiling about? Woo! Why lose your happiness? Why lose your joy when you can cast it and give it to him. Yes. Stay happy. Keep your joy. Don't let yes. your joy go. That's it. 
Keep your spirit and your joyful batteries charged up at all times. No frowns. No only. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Don't you ever frown? No. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to frown, I'm going to frown at the enemy. <laughs> Smile only. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Yes. Whether you know it or not. But Psalm 6, uh, 12, uh, it's, excuse me, Ephesians 6, 12 in the expanded Bible says, yes. For our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not against people on earth That's or right. flesh and blood, but is against the rulers and authorities and the powers of this world, mm -hmm. darkness, yes, against the spiritual powers of evil yes. in the heavenly realms and the heavenly mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. So people get happy and be joyful. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Keep going. <laughs> be happy. Hallelujah. Don't let anyone ever dull your spark. Sparkle. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're a light shining for God. Amen. Amen. You let your fire light for God. Amen. Keep that fire up. Yes. You sparkle for him. You know, don't let nobody do it. That's it. Amen. You got control over that. That's it. Don't let nobody else do it for you. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm sparkling. I'm sparkling for him. <laughs> <laughs> sparkle for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Woo. Here's another one. Don't depend on other people as your source of happiness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's my source of happiness. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look to him. He's my source. Yes. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. Amen. So praise God. You don't have to look to people for that. Amen. Right. Praise God. This is good. The joy yes. is of the Lord is my strength. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Be led by his spirit. Keep your joy by allowing his Holy Spirit to lead and guide you Amen. in the ways we should go. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 6, uh, 16, 9 says, people can plan what they want to do, but mm -hmm. it is God, it is the Lord who guides and directs their steps. Yes. Lord, I thank you that you guide my steps on a daily Amen. basis where I need to be and where I need mm -hmm. to go. Amen. Yes. And I'm giving you all praise, glory, and honor. Amen. Amen. Too many people complain about how boring life is. Mm -hmm. They need a priority check. Oh God. On a daily basis, you need to remember yeah. what is my priority base. Is God your th uh, is He on the throne or are you on the throne? Oh boy. We need to check our priority. <laughs> Amen. Matthew six yeah. uh, six thirty three says that He needs to be our first priority. Amen. Yes. Yeah. He needs to be our first priority. Let me go there right quick. Mm -hmm. Matthew six thirty three. Amen. 633 yeah. says what? Mm -hmm. Well, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're seeking him first. Amen. And putting him first in our lives. Amen. Yes. What's my priority list? God first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God first. Amen. Amen. Jesus yeah. first. Check. Have a, a priority check. Yes. Thank you, Lord. They lose their <clears throat> love for God. They open the door for enemy and other distractions. Get back in relationship with him. Life is not born. Our priorities slip. Life is not born if we are led by his Holy Spirit. Be yes. flexible and allow changes to take place. Amen. Amen. Right. You will lose your joy if you're not willing to get out of your box or uh -huh. your comfort zone and be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You know, amen. You know, when you get full of the word, you're full of uh -huh. faith. And when you're full of faith, all your fears are gone. That means I'm going to take some, some some faith steps for God every day. Amen. Yeah. Step out in faith on a daily basis for God, for Him. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, don't try to do too much. Uncomplicate your life. Satan complicates your life. We need to uncomplicate it. Amen. Amen. Don't let him steal your happiness or your joy. Uh, keep uh, <clears throat> he tries to keep you too busy don't allow yourself to be too busy like Mary and Martha mm. great example Mar uh, Martha was too too busy trying yes. to do too many things yes Mary saw Jesus mm -hmm. and he said he came to serve the master 
you know, on a daily basis with we're not so busy say, man, you know, this uh, my work priorities are so so much, you know. Oh, okay. I, I I I I don't even recognize mm. uh, you know, Jesus. Huh. No, that can wait. Yeah. I'm gonna serve him first and spend time with him, get myself full of what I need to be filled with him so that I can step out in the right priority and seek him first yeah. and not the world. Amen. So enjoy your relationship with him. Enjoy time with family and friends. Take time to laugh. Crack a smile once in a while. <laughs> you know, some of us really need to practice that. Turn that frown upside down. You know, you know. Some of us, if we was to laugh or smile, we might just crack the face off. <laughs> we really need to smile. Oh, hallelujah. Some people I've never seen you smile before. Mom, Dad, what is, what are you doing? Why are you smiling? Mm -hmm. I've never seen you smile. <laughs> but yeah, they need to see you smile all the time and yeah. not frown. Amen. <laughs> Take time to enjoy yeah. life. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise I am. God. Happiness is restored to your life when you learn how mm -hmm. to forgive and forget. Yeah. Amen. We need to forgive and forget. Two virtues go together. Mm. So many times yes. we have problems because we we, we forget to forgive. Mm. We need to know when to forgive. Mm -hmm. We must forgive, allow forgiveness to do its redemptive work. Stop yeah. remembering what they did to us and stop mm -hmm. thinking and talking about yeah. the problem. And we magnify right. problems more than we magnify our God. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. If Jesus, as he was, when he was crucified, before he surrendered himself to the Father, he told the Father, forgive them. Yes. So who are we to judge and who are we to hold right. any unforgiveness against anybody? That's right. Remembering the past offense opens the uh -huh. wounds and feeds anger. Anger mm -hmm. feeds unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't need to. We need to forgive other people yes. because our faith won't work. Uh -huh. Unforgiveness blocks our fellowship with God yes, and prevents spiritual growth. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need to start forgiving. And we need to continue to be happy and joyful in what God has called us to do. Yes, amen. So we start forgiving people right now. Make a list of people you need to forgive. Mm. Uh, your, your list is different wow. than mine, but you need to start forgiving now. Mm. Wow, well, you know, they did something to me 20, 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's time you forgive all that. Yes. Forget about all that. It's just, you know, mm -hmm. when you start forgiving, the smile is going to come back on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got to let it go. Right. And let God, amen. Amen. Praise God. This is this is this is good. Some of some of you <laughs> really need this. Yeah. You gotta let it go, you know. Amen. Every time it comes around, that's all you talk about mm. is the problem and the unforgiveness. And I'll never forgive them, you know. Mm. But if Jesus can forgive those that crucified him, so can we forgive those that did us wrong. Yes. Amen. So we're to imitate our heavenly father yes. and not the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. So holding on forgiveness is like taking poison and hoping the enemy dies. Oh boy. It ain't gonna happen. Mm -mm. If you lost your happiness and your joy because of unforgiveness, it's time to get that list out mm -hmm. and write it down and just let these people know you forgive them. And if they're gone already, just say, Lord, I forgive these people. Yes. Amen. Just get it out for you and let it go. Let it go. Yeah. <clears throat> Ask God to give you the power to forgive these people. Yes. yes. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need to learn to wait on him and listen. Mm. As he's telling us to, what to do. And simply just obey what he tells us to do. Yes. Amen. God knows what's best for our life. Yes. And he will lead us into his perfect plan if we give him permission to do so. Yes. Amen. So Amen. remember, remember, remember. Mm -hmm. Happiness and joy. Hallelujah. Enjoy life. Yes. Being satisfied, happy, and joyful with yourself mm -hmm. is a very important key to enjoy your life. Be the original God made you to be. Mm -hmm. Be yourself, not a copy. That's right. You don't have to be like anyone else. You don't have to copy anyone else. Mm -hmm. You don't have to compare or compete with no one else. God called you, anointed you, equipped you, yeah. and he knows what's best for you. Amen. Amen. Every, every one of you, mm -hmm. God has a calling on your life. If you're still here, 
then check in with him and says, yeah. Lord, you put me here. What mission do you want me on? Mm -hmm. What is it that you want me to do? I'm yes. here to do and fulfill what you've called me to do. Right. Many people think they must be like somebody else, but we're not. Mm -hmm. We're not to compare or compete with nobody else. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. Don't compare yourself to nobody. Compare yourself only to Christ mm -hmm. and imitate him only. Amen. He's the one we're to be following. So praise God. So you, listen to this. God has made every one of us unique. Yes, He's God. made you and gave you gifts, talents, and abilities. No one else in this world is exactly like you. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's special. You're special to him. That means what is best for someone else may not be the best for you. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't compare. Because different parts of the body do different functions. Yes. But they work in unity as a body of Christ. We work together in unity. Mm -hmm. But whatever you get to and called you to be is different than somebody else. So you go to him. He's the one that called you. Amen. Be, set, be satisfied. Be happy. Be joyful mm -hmm. with who God made you to be. Yes. He made you exactly who he wants you to be. Yeah. If you try to be like someone else, you will miss the beautiful life God has planned specially for you. Amen. Amen. You're going to live in misery and sad all your life because you never lived up to whoever you compare yourself to. But if you look to him, mm -hmm. he's gonna you're going to fulfill your life and you're going to be happy with what God made you to be. Amen. Amen. So praise God in closing. Amen. I, Amen. On the last slide? <laughs> yeah, let me see the last. Oh, Here we go. Oh <laughs> Don't let the sadness of your past and the fear of your future ruin the happiness in your present. Yeah. This is awesome. You need to write that yes, down. Yes, it is. Amen. You need to write that down right now. Don't let the sadness of your past, and we, some of us are still hung up in the past. Mm. Amen. We got to let it go. Or the fears of the future. Mm -hmm. If you know you can do all things through Christ, I'm not worried about tomorrow. Mm. Because I know that God has already been there, and I'm going to fulfill what he wants me yes. to do. Yes. Because he's already there. Yes. Praise God. Amen. The fears of the future and ruin the happiness of your present. He's with me today. He's with me every day of my life. Mm -hmm. That means that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh. Amen. So you remember that. Yeah. When you decide to let go, when, excuse me, when you decide to let go, let God out of your Sunday morning box <laughs> and into your every yeah. area of your lives, yeah. we'll begin to experience his happiness, uh -huh. his joy, and his peace more than ever before. You know, some of us only think about God on Sundays. Oh, oh today is Sunday. Oh. And you know, we think about it, but we never come to church anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 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 come on, now. So, give your life to him. Surrender yourself. Commit totally to him and be happy. Yeah. You know, some of, them, so, so, some of you may be in misery because you have never surrendered your life to him. That's right. Amen. He paid for us. He sacrificed his son for us. Jesus gave his life for us. He, yes. he owns us. Mm -hmm. And some of you are in misery, in misery because you've never surrendered your life back to mm -hmm. me. Say, Lord, I'm yours. Mm -hmm. I give myself back to you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's good. Hallelujah. Praise God. In closing. Amen. <laughs> Remember being happy and enjoying the abundant life Jesus died to give you is based on the decision you make, not your circumstances. Mm -hmm. Amen. On a daily basis. Yes. On a daily basis, happiness and joy is God's gift to us. Mm -hmm. But some of us have never opened this package. Ooh. Oh boy. Hallelujah. Mm -mm. It's a gift to us, you know. When somebody gives you a gift, you you receive it, you take ownership, and you open it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us have never opened this package. Mm -hmm. God is waiting on you to open yours. Amen. Amen. How would you like to go and be before Jesus one day? And one day you will stand before yes. Him. Yes. And He's going to check with you and say, "You know, I gifted you and gave you this gift, but you never opened your gift. You never mm -hmm. used the gift. You never stepped into what I called you to be." Mm -hmm. Because you never had a relationship. Mm. Because you never acknowledged him, received him as Lord mm. and Savior. So he's just going to have to say, you know, 
away from me. Go away. Depart from me. I don't want you ever to say that to me. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. He is the glory of the lifter up your head of your head. Yes. Amen. Satan wants to pull you down, steal, kill, destroy us. But Jesus came to lift us up, give us yes. life more abundantly. Amen. More happy, more enjoyable. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, Amen. it is. So Amen. praise God. Some of you that are still watching, mm -hmm. listen. If you never accepted Jesus, your Lord and Savior, now's the time. Yes. To say, Lord, I'm in misery right now. I want to be the happiest person alive. Mm -hmm. I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior right now. Just mm -hmm. say, Lord, <laughs> I repent of my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. And just go and check yourself into a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. They teach the Word of God. And just go in there and start learning. Start and get you a Bible, whatever, you know. You buy you one or go to a thrift store and get you one or whatever. Yeah. But get you a Bible mm -hmm. where you can start reading the Word of God and uh, and learning for yourself. Say, study your story, show yourself and prove unto God. Yes. Rightly divide the word of truth, you know. Yes. And if it's not in the word of God, somebody's giving you all these lies. Mm -hmm. If it's not in the word of God, it's not scriptural based, it's not true. Mm -hmm. God is not mad at you. That's right. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave mm -hmm. his only begotten son. Amen. Right. So it's up to us to take that step of receiving Amen. him, surrendering ourselves to him, surrendering our lives to him, and stepping out in faith, stepping out and yes. do what he's called us to do. Yes. It's open that gift that he's given us yes. so we can step out and do what he's called us to do. He says, you can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens you. Amen. Yes. So he's with you on a daily basis. Amen. So praise God and be blessed and have a joyful and happy day. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Yes.